Hey everybody, this is Butch Harmon. Welcome to Speech Bubble. I am so excited because as always, I've got my amazing youthful co-host, Mr. Jay Steele. I'm not Jay Steele, I'm Mikey Monroe. Wait, Mikey, what, do you, what, what, what have you done with Jay Steele? Is Jace around? I don't know, ask Bunsen. Hey Bunsen, what's up with Mikey? I don't know, why don't we just roll in a cold open? Uh, no, it's, it's the theme music, roll that please. <laughs> God. <laughs> You had one job, Jeremy. One job. One job. One line. You You're say one theme line. music, not cold up. <laughs> Can we start this again? Speech bubble. All right, guys. Uh, that was our theme music. Welcome to Speech Bubble. Hey, I am so excited because uh, you know you know what's cool. I normally have a, a youthful co-host in here, Jay Steele, but there's two guys in here now that are actually a little closer to my age. They're still youthful compared to me. Though. <laughs> but hey, I, I am so excited. In fact, we had to give you guys Jace's microphone. Jace normally sits there. Yeah, but I'm glad. Oh. I'm sorry, Jace. Actually, you know, what's interesting is uh, you guys actually make one Jay Steele. When, we, when you guys assemble in the anime robot form. Our they, powers combined. To make Jay Steele. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Can I introduce you guys real quick? Sure. I am, I've never been more thrilled because uh, you know, if you guys listen to Speech Bubble, we sometimes have guests on and sometimes we don't. But sometimes we have even more special guests than usual. And so I'm excited because this week we have two very good friends of mine. We have Ben Giroux. What up? How that, are you? That's Ben Giroux. Yeah, and, and I asked, uh, how are you? As if I was expecting a response. <laughs> but I guess... Well, we can answer. <laughs> it's I'm, not going to happen. I'm fine. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, so financially... Uh, <laughs> how does that make you feel? We're here I to guess, talk about... Right. Let's break down uh, finances, emotions, uh, yeah, relationships. Yeah. Uh, Which we were hoping this would just be a therapy session. This is called... Yeah. Uh, we're actually changing the podcast. It's called Money Matters. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Exactly. Very good. All money Matters. How you can succeed in today's topsy-turvy financial world. That's what we're talking about. I actually... While we're talking about voiceover for a second, I did... We did the, where did we talk about voiceover? I did, did an audio that? book for a... Like a get rich quick scheme thing one time. You it was did. Crazy. Yeah. How did it sound? We are talking about voiceovers. We're doing crazy voices. We are doing. Well, you said speaking of voiceovers, I'm like, I haven't gotten there, Ben. <laughs> I've got to get to our other guest. Oh yeah, uh, the cackling man. We're still doing introductions. <laughs> well, I know. Oh my god. Yeah, we try. We the try. The whole thing's so hard. a disaster already. Uh, my hey. guy's coming off the rails. Hey, so what is your name? You right there in the microphone. What's your name? Uh, speaking of institutions, <laughs> um, my name's Jeremy Rowley. Jeremy Rowley. Is that is that one? Is it is there an is it. E Y at the end or just Y, Jeremy. It's all one word, Jeremy Rowley. Jeremy there's Rowley. No space. <laughs> and what is your last name? <laughs> there's a there's a tilde on the J. <laughs> a what? A tilde. What's that? It's like the little thing. The little swoopy yeah. S that lays on its side. Yeah. That's a tilde. That's a tilde. I have never known that in my life. The more you know. Oh my God! Yeah. A tilde. Yeah. I know what a yacht and a tittle is, though. You know what that is? I don't you're think you're allowed, allowed to talk about those that. Are that. He- no, well, no. You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> those are Hebrew. Bubble. Those are in the Hebrew alphabet. A yacht and a tittle is like uh, dotting the I and crossing a T. That's what that is. Jason got worried for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, here we are. Welcome. By the way, we're the comedy group Yacht and Tittle. Here they are. <laughs> Here they are. Introducing Yacht and Tittle. Yacht and Tittle. Here they are. Welcome to Amsterdam. <laughs> we are Yacht and Tittle, and you are on our ferry boat. <laughs> so there's there's three listeners left at this point. <laughs> if the waves get rocky, we you, will also <laughs> hand you the life preserver. You you are seconds away from being slapped. I'm just Why? saying. Right. Seconds right. seconds away. I'm, well, we have to keep things in control here. Oh, speech bubble. Why is the question you ask. Okay, <laughs> that's I'm your going last back. Name. That's well, here in name. the speech bubble, it's a very controlled environment, but it's safe in here. It's it safe inside the speech. Are you excited to be inside the speech bubble? I'm excited. I feel safe. This can, is lovely. Can you breathe enough? Is there enough oxygen in the speech bubble? <sighs> Nice, yeah. nice. Well, if you guys, if, if you're watching this on, 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 on audio, I was going to say audio. If you're listening on audio, <laughs> I, have, I have two amazing voice actors here. But if you're watching it on video, they're darn handsome guys. Two darn handsome guys. Look at that. We're having a handsome contest in here. So let's, um, let's, let's how, should we tell the audience how we met? How did we meet? Yeah. Sure. How did we meet? Ben, well, tell you, guys, we... you guys met first, but we, we oh. all did. Didn't you? I met you no, first before. You oh, you met. Him. Right. Him. Tell people how we met. Well, Butch and I actually met. I voiced Bobby Bugley. Yes. In a pilot called The Buglies that we yes. did with our dear friend Sherry O'Terry. Sherry O'Terry. Uh, Absolutely. God, what year did we do that? That was like 2014. 1946. <laughs> 1946. <laughs> the Mets had just won the World Series. <laughs> That'd be fine. Just the fine. The Chicago Cubs <laughs> won the pennant that year. I'll take a brandy on the rocks. <laughs> Everybody was named Mr. Novak. <laughs> Everyone wore shirts and ties, and they mowed their lawn in a, in a three-piece suit. It's Saturday morning. Hey, it's 10 o'clock. Would you like a drink? Come on in. I used to love that watching old movies. It's like, hey, come on in. You must be exhausted. Would you like a drink? They, they offered yeah, yeah. alcoholic Brandy drinks. on the rocks. <laughs> Everything was brandy. Mama, where's Papa? Don't ask, honey. It's Sunday. <laughs> 
I used to love in every Twilight Zone when the guy would freak out. The person in the Twilight Zone uh, movie or the Twilight Zone episode would be like, something weird's happening. And they'd go to explain to their friend. You wouldn't believe it. I, I saw I saw myself running down. I, I think you've been on a heck of a toot. I think it's, like, you've been drinking for like a week. Obviously, you gotta you gotta dry out. That was the excuse for everything. We've been drink- I think we've been drinking for like a week and a half. I've been on a heck of a toot. I know. Heck exactly. of a toot. Oh, so yeah, we, we met. said yacht and tittle already. We met on we a have heck of a toot. Now. Heck of a toot. Is- they met on that show, and then I we've met. Been the, we've been uh, on the bug. We're not uh, done with Ben yet. We're not done with Ben yet. Well, Hold so, on. Yeah, Just we, calm down. Just settle down. So We're I done. wear <laughs> sweats when I mow the lawn. <laughs> no, I was pretty much done. We met on the Buglies. We had a great time. We thought the show was going to get picked up. And it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't get picked up. So thanks, Ben. <laughs> Way to go. All my other shows did great. Ben shows up. Show doesn't get picked up. I'm anyway, good luck charm. Mo- <laughs> moving on. That show got bend. Moving on to Jeremy Rowley. Jeremy, how did you and I meet, Jeremy? Well, then we, I auditioned for Bunsen as a Beast. That's how we met. Mm-hmm. That's how we met. Did you get that part? I did. And the, uh, we Which got part to did know each other. Uh, I think it's pronounced Bjornsson. Be- yeah. <laughs> Bjornsson. Welcome to Amsterdam. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> uh, and the, I, we got to know each other a little bit in the audition because there was an actor auditioning who was across town. And you're like, I want to uh, have you guys read together. Can you stay? Because they're stuck in traffic. So you, were gonna, we, you were going to stay. Uh, yeah, so I stayed, uh, and we just sat and chatted for like an hour because this person got stuck in horrible traffic. Right. So that was kind of a fun thing to be like, usually an audition's real in and out, real quick. Yes. You know, you do your thing, you leave. But yes, we, we, know like, the, we know usually they're not good. Thanks very much. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Yeah. Thank well, you. No, that was Thank fun. you for it your time. Like, uh, we we were sitting there chatting for like a long time, waiting for this other actor. To there show you go. Up. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And that other actor was Pierce Brosnan. That's, yeah. right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> TV's Remington Steele <laughs> came in, down in his luck, nailed it. <laughs> he nailed it. Really? Re- Remington Steele. He's a heck of a voice actor. Phenomenal kid, monster voice. Exactly. I didn't see it coming. No, but we met on Bunsen as a beast. You guys are amazing. I, mean, I cast Ben. No, no. But the cool thing was. Um, I always tell voice actors this all the time, or any actor. It's like just kind of do something memorable because you might not get that part, but at least they'll remember you. And don't be insane when you come in. Just be a nice person. Come in, do the job. If you don't get this part, at least if you were a nice guy in the audition, we might remember you. And on the Buglies, you were so good. And we were casting Bunsen like two years later, and we couldn't find an actor to play Mikey. I had this one lady who did the voice, but I didn't really care for the voice that much. I'm like, I gotta recast. Who's that guy? Who did the Bugly's voice? And then my casting director goes, that was Ben Giroux. I said, get him in here. And bam, boom, there you were. Mikey Monroe was born. Exactly. How do you, how does he do that? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's like you're, it's like you're, it's like you're this little bug on top of the, a lot of helium. Uh, a lot I was, of helium. I was going to say. Now, uh, and uh, Jeremy, what is your Bunsen voice? Do your Bunsen voice for us. <laughs> <laughs> your head's about to explode. Yeah, your head's getting red. And then when you see Jeremy in the booth doing it, he like moves his arms all around. You yes. totally, you're very physical with, with the Bunsen voice, which is really yes. funny. I like to act it out. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Just calm down. Act calm down. Out. He's got his vodka. So, yeah, yeah, that's he nice. Is. Good. Straight vodka. Hey, but, um, Can so. Can you be quiet? <laughs> So when, <laughs> so when you when you when you um, did you do a lot of voices before Bunsen? I mean, you've told me this story before, but tell our listeners what the story is. So uh, I, I was I, I perform all the time at the Groundlings Sketch right. and Improv Theater in Los Angeles. Now that's where many people get on Saturday Night Live, yes. except you. <laughs> yes, that's right, true. except for you. That's How many true. times, Jeremy? How many, How many times, times you auditioned for Saturday Night Live? I tested three times. Three times. So I've been on that stage where they do the monologues. Right. Three times. Three times. Doing all my characters. And, and you everything. are his. Hysterical. I've seen you oh, do Groundlings. I, I, at the Groundlings, I've seen him. He is, and you've seen him too, Ben. He's, he's, he's hyster- hysterical. He's brilliant. There, it doesn't miss a beat, and it's it's great. In fact, it's sad you're on stage with other people, if you mind <laughs> what I'm saying, because they're not as good as you. Oh. Yeah, there you go. See? See what I, I complimented you. Very kind. We're cutting this out of the podcast, but yeah, I complimented no, no, you. Yo, that's cut cutting that right out. out. It For makes sure. you seem weak. <laughs> <laughs> you got Con- to stay above. Countries, countries that are weak for 500, Alex. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, what was the original question? No, well, the oh, question so, oh, yeah, was... yeah, I get it. Uh, yeah. So then, uh, well, you know, compliments wipe your mind. I completely oh, understand. I'm just bathing in that now. <laughs> no, but you were you tested for Saturday Night Live yeah, three times. Three and times. With, were you testing with anybody famous that actually 
actually got onto the show? At, oh, yeah, we every would time. Know? Yeah. Uh, like, name a person. Well, uh, you know, like, Will Forte went out with me the one time, and he got it. Because uh, a lot of people from the Groundlings get cast. And he went away. Uh, Will Forte went away. He did Goat Boy, right? Was that him, Will Forte? No, 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 oh, no, no, no. I know Will Forte. He did, Will like, Forte. the Eagle, the Falconer guy. I know Will Forte. He did he's also the last Mac- man on Earth right now. Right? Yeah, okay, he's, he's great, actually. Oh, I like him. Awesome. Yeah, very funny, yes. Um, No, he's a putty. I was thinking of Jim Brewer. That's what I was thinking. And I don't know him. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Uh, but like, yeah, he got it that time. Um, and there's other people like I think the last time I auditioned, who got it? A guy that uh, was on one season and then that was it, okay. you know. And that right. happens to people all the time. Uh, oh, exactly. Whatever. So, but um, anyway, so you were asking me about the voices, which is yeah, this so is going great by I'm, the way. <laughs> this is going super. Well, you fantastic. keep changing the subject before I get to the. <laughs> I'm answer. trying to be the energetic host. I'm okay. the host of the podcast. So. I'll make it quick. I'm performing at the Groundlings for years, and the Sarah Noonan, the VP of live action now. Right, she was the, she was the animation. She was the casting director for many right. many years, many she moons. Started bringing me in to audition for voices at Nickelodeon. Right. Uh, I auditioned for 16 years. For Say that again. 16 years. Oh my gosh, that's and like way more than 10 years. That's, that's a lot of years. That's six almost more. six more than yeah, ten. See what right. happens yeah. in the like math. Welcome double. back to Money Matters with Ben and Bush. We're here to talk about <laughs> oh, your uh, escrow account. They'll invest, s- invest. They'll <laughs> stun you with figures. <laughs> so, sixteen years. I'm driving to the Bunsen audition, and I had the thought to myself, "Wow, I've been coming here a long time, and I never got a job, but it's always a fun experience. They're very nice, <laughs> so I'll keep coming." And then I finally got a job. And you got the job, yeah. and then and, and nailed it. Hysterically funny. Well, thank you. And I and uh, and then I cast you as Mikey and and as your that amazing voice that you do, and and I think and he went on a date one time and did the voice and it was a bad idea. It was a bad date. What? It was a yeah. bad date. Tell us why. Well, uh, this is a date with a human female. With this a human time? female. Human female this time. Okay. She. Well, I did the. I did the voice. Was this after you were cast as Mikey? Yes. Oh, so you're no, like, we're going, hey, I'm Mikey Monroe. I was like, hey, I've. Uh, <laughs> What's going on? I've got a little cartoon. She's like, do the voice. Do the voice. And I'm like, well, I. I don't want to do the voice. She's like, no. Come well, on, can I? Ask, well, I mean, I need, I need to ask this. What location were you in? When you oh, did the we're voice? in like a dimly lit Italian. Oh, restaurant. so you're, you're like you're in a restaurant. Yeah. Okay, you weren't like in somewhere we shouldn't talk it's a about. Romantic, crowded, date. but it's sort of like that that dull sort of hum. You know, it's not very loud in there. It wasn't. Oh, it wasn't an illegal jacuzzi. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or something. Right, illegal jacuzzi. <laughs> Exactly what I thought. That was after all. You know, I just break into so many jacuzzis. I just hey, look at apartment building. <laughs> I've got my bolt cutters in my pants. Tink. What a ben, great you, ben, do you do this all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, put, It'll this be great. Ba- put this bathing suit on. It's free. Um, yeah. So Give me a quarter. Okay. Good. I just I break into <laughs> I break into to hot tubs all the time. It's so much fun. Uh, no, I. She wanted me to do the voice. I did the voice. And it was like watching any attraction she had for me just washed oh out. My God! Because it's not the sexiest voice in the world. Wait, what? Surprisingly, uh, but, that's but, crazy. Uh, but still, I would have thought just the fact so you could sexy. do that voice would yeah. that's sexy to me. That's why I cast you. It was only a one date wonder. Oh, so. gee, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry. That's all well, right. and that girl was Julia Roberts. Yeah. That's <laughs> the sad part about it. That's and then she went off to become <laughs> Julia Roberts. <laughs> And I went off to become Ben. I just, <laughs> what did I see? I saw a great Norm Macdonald bit on SNL. He goes, well, it's official. Julia Roberts is split up with Lyle Lovett. The reason is she's Julia Roberts and he's Lyle Lovett. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It okay, didn't work cool. out, Julia. Well, I'm sorry. Well, that's a funny story. You just got a hot tub. Uh, you got a hot I got tub a hot trip. tub out of it. That's, yeah. that's, that's nice. And by the way, all of your uh, 50-year-old fans loved that reference. Because I, I know who Lyle Lovett is. <laughs> Actually, but all the kids are like, this is posted on YouTube. Who's Lyle Lovett? Do you post, Lovett. This, post this on YouTube? I do post this on YouTube, yeah. You should have people comment and see if they actually know who Lyle Lovett is. If anyone out there knows who Lyle Lovett is, post a picture. <laughs> Post a picture. Like if you are Lyle Lovett, come on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we could get him. I mean, we can get Lyle, Lyle Lovett doing right What's Lyle Lovett doing? What is he doing yeah. right now? He's at Bed Bath and Beyond. By the way, he's he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's a very talented singer. Come he on. is. He's oh, a no, very he's talented guy. So anyway, so um, we met that way, and we and we started doing bunts, and we actually had a Saturday Night Live SNL alum on the show with us. And who was that? Sherry O'Terry. The fabulous Sherry O'Terry. The amazing Sherry O'Terry. Who is uh, who is not only hysterically funny. When given lines to read, which she may or may not say, may or may not say, <laughs> but even I should get around here. But even but even when she's like just coming in the booth to do oh. the gig, one of the most funny human beings I've ever met in my life. Truly, she's never maybe one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. Like she, 
the thing is, she's not really playing a character. No, no. <laughs> she, she did Miss Flap on the show, the teacher of Mikey and Bunsen, but yeah. uh, truly, she is kind of Miss Flap. Hey, like, it's a full moon. Hey, I'm going to go stick my, my finger in a jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> Bye. You know, that sort of thing. She's so, so gifted and such a lovely human being. Oh, One my of God. my favorite things ever was when we all have the headphones to record and then the sound. Well, there's like eight people in there. I know right? what you're going to say. And the sound tech will be like, Hey, can you hear yourself? How's your level? And Kari Walgren's famous for being, I need to hear myself more, more me, more me. Um, <laughs> right, right. And then and then he goes, and this is the one billionth time we've done this. Um, like, it seemed like Sherry's headphones weren't on. And so he asked her, hey, Sherry, can you hear yourself? And she goes, I can always hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> and she really meant, like, like, there's never a time when I can't hear my own voice. What a dumb question. Like, Jeez. how could someone ask me having that? having to do with sound equipment. She has sonic abilities. <laughs> And there was one time we were oh, like I was I was going so okay funny. Jeremy fin- Jeremy finished his line you finished your line Ben and then I hear Sherry talking and she's on the phone she's going <laughs> she's like yeah you turn left on Olive I don't know how to make it any clearer than that she's giving someone directions to come to the studio yeah. and we're recording live yeah. yeah we're doing the doing the bar yeah it was really funny and the whole point of that was she had some friends in town she wanted them to come listen to our our work, recording, yeah. our recording, and so the whole time she was giving them directions and giving them directions, and by the time we left, they still hadn't found the place. <laughs> and then they got there, and she just, I think, walked them around the campus of Nickelodeon, like, didn't actually. Because we were all done and gone. Yeah. My, my favorite time, which happened only to me, the whole session's oh. over, I'm sitting in there, she comes in, she goes, she's all upset, she's like, hey, can I talk to you? And I went, sure, Sherry, what's up? Um, you know, I, I left the session, yeah. And this is how she told the story. I left the session. Yeah. And then I went outside. Yeah. And then, like, my car. Yeah. Well, the guy's washing it. Can I have 20 bucks? I'm out of money. And I'm like, what? sure, Sherry, no problem. Here. And I thought, like, something horrible happened. Did She's she like, ever pay you back? Yeah, she did. Oh, no, she did. She did. Yeah, she did. She goes, here, thanks, eye candy. She gave it to me. She uh, called me eye candy. It was very, very nice of her. It was so funny. So she was let, so worried about I, the car uh, So where did we first – no, no, uh, actually, I know we first met. But let's talk about you guys and your awesome history. This, this is to build you guys up. We've got, like, how many listeners? Eight listeners? Oh, we have to, I know it was an even number last time. Yeah. It was eight or ten. Okay, so we have, we have like ten. Lyle Levitt was one of them. Lyle Levitt <laughs> was one, and Jason's mom is another. Oh, great. One. Hey, but um, so let's let's talk about uh, uh, Jeremy for a second. Okay. So now, before you met me, yes. you were alive for many years. Few. And did things few, right. A few. And your amazing comedy career. Now, how long yes. were you at the Groundlings? Uh, so I was a main company member for about. 17 years. Wow. And, uh, but what I happens started... At seven, what happens at 17 years? You get like a, a shrine, a plaque, <laughs> yeah. you get a, a throne, what I happens? I did get a, a big knight that was like a send-off. That they gave you fun. a knight? Yeah, yeah. Any pictures? Uh, Any proof of this knight? I'm sure there are some, somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure there are somewhere. But uh, I started taking classes in the mid-90s, so I've been a part of that place for so long. And then even when you give up your spot so that you can let another young person come and be a part of the theater. The cool thing is you're you're sort of an alumni for life, like Sherry O'Terry is. Got it. That's why I knew her before I worked on this. Right, right. And you come back and you do improv shows all the time. Like, I still do an improv show there every week, even though I'm not a company member anymore. It's, it's, it's the coolest thing, because I know all these amazing people that are friends of mine, like Lorraine Newman, original cast member oh, yeah. of Saturday Night Live, who I would never know, and she's uh, does a lot of voiceover too. Um, but I wouldn't even know her. I wouldn't have known Sherry before this. Mm-hmm. And, you mm-hmm. know, you just – because people come back. And Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy come back and do shows. And, you know, we don't get paid there. So it's like you're not going to come – once you have a career, a huge career like these ladies, you're not going to come back and do something like that unless you really want to because you don't right. have to do anything you don't uh, want yeah, to exactly. anymore. Right, exactly. And, you know, they'll come back and do shows. Like I don't have to do this podcast. I'm only doing it because right? I, 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 I just do it because it's, a, it's a, a passion project. I'm no. here for the paycheck. That's what I thought. Yeah, we'll get that to you right away. <laughs> I yeah. thought we were going to go to your house for this. Turns out we're at your studio. Mm-hmm. But I thought I, I – Did you really think wait. we're going to my house? We, did I, think we, we thought we were going to your house. Seriously? I wanted to see Casa de Hartman. Oh, you, we could you could go there. We could go there afterwards. I think because I I live. Do right you have a hot tub? Here. I do have a hot tub. Yeah, yes. then, yeah, but but yeah, but there's no fence to break through. <laughs> you could get, uh, that's the thing. It's not as fun. Well, yeah, yeah. Know, <laughs> not as fun. Well, you know how like takes big, the adventure out of it. Big like big houses like will have a name like that'll be like Hartman House yeah. or whatever. Like yeah, yeah. I saw on the freeway on the way here, we saw his. It was Wells Fargo. There it is. <laughs> right, right. That's you know, it. he's a very we- uh, rich man. Oh yeah, yeah. And so his his 
his ranch is called Wells the Fargo. Wells Fargo, the exactly. Wells Fargo Ranch. Har- Harbin yeah. House is actually the name of my foundation. Thanks for mentioning that. We yes. we help people around the world. Just a little plug. But hey, so we and now what else did you do acting wise that all the kids would know out there? Come on, Jeremy, tell I've us done about a lot what did you do on Nickelodeon before you came to Muncie? I've been. I'm trying on, to work the conversation. I was now. on iCarly as Lubert the Doorman. Uh, you now you were Lubert the Doorman. I was. Now yeah. explain Lubert. Explain him. So he's the world's Please. most uh, disgusting human. Got it. Who also was the doorman in the building where uh, iCarly lived. Got it. And, uh, and and then you worked also with who? Who did you work with on that show? Uh, well, uh, Jerry Trainer. What's his name again? Jerry Trainer. Jerry, if, if Trainer. that's still his name, because <laughs> I think he changed it. He probably had to change it. Yeah. He probably because like, there's like lots of lawsuits. I think. Yeah, I'm sure. There's things, tons right. of I'm lawsuits. I'm kidding. There's no lawsuits. We're joking. <laughs> no. We love Jerry here. Oh, we love Jerry. Jerry's one of the funniest people in the world. Oh my God. Jerry actually is. just so we just shot the cold open. Of you my, shot Jerry? Of you, why'd you, why'd you Jerry. shoot him? What'd you shoot him for? No, I just I didn't think he had it anymore. He's hard to hit, by the way. I tried shooting him, and he's very wiry. No, we filmed. The uh, cold open of my pilot that we're pitching around, and Jerry plays a very funny role uh, in the show, and was that his, was supposed to be a dramatic role? His, it was. <laughs> it was supposed to be a drama pilot, and we had to convert it to a comedy because Jerry, Jerry came just on can't board. act. He yeah. just can't you do anything. Just can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. But, well, good. Well, you, oh, we'll get to you. In a sure. We're getting there, Ben. Okay. We're all. We're almost there. I'll see you guys. Later. Oh no, 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 no. It's all right, Ben. I'll get most of it, Jeru. <laughs> we'll talk about that. We should tell them why. <laughs> we'll tell them. That's the nickname. So go ahead. So, um, so you did okay. Lubert, and then what happened? Lubert, and then uh, the kids watched it, and then uh, I went home. And that, oh, that's, and then, that was the end of the story. No, I, I, uh, I brushed Ben off for that. Yes. No. So yeah. No. I did that. And then I've been on a. I've been on a ton wait, of. No. You also. You shows, also met yeah. a girl oh, on, yeah. on on iCarly. So well. Who, who is this girl? There's a, a woman that played Nora. <laughs> Jace, we talked about women before. Remember that? I'm still learning. Okay. Good. Got it. All right. <laughs> yep. Jace is still learning. That's good. That's good. <laughs> He's looking at flashcards. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> welcome to Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, like, Nora Blitzen. was an evil care, a different evil character on iCarly who kept kidnapping all the kids and putting them in her basement because she loved them so much she wanted to keep them for herself. Got it. And she had a which, pet chicken, which I've done here. Exactly the same thing. All the same details. Exactly. In fact, yeah. they is ripped it, off your real life. <laughs> a, that's uh, what's at Casa de Herman. <laughs> by the way, yeah. So go ahead. Uh, and then uh, we met. Uh, through the Groundlings, actually. You and your wife. Yes. So we were on the iCarly intermittently, but we had never run into each other there. Mm. Once we met, we're like, oh, I've been on the show. Oh, I've been on there, too. And then we ended up getting married and having a baby. And the baby's name is? Sid. Butch Hartman. Oh. <laughs> Sid Butch Hartman, right? It was Sid. Sid Butch Hartman Rowley. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Butch Hartman is silent. Uh, yes. the Butch, the Butch Hartman. <laughs> <laughs> Butch Hartman. <laughs> But Sid is the cutest kid in the world. He's the best. Next to Jace. There's Jace, yeah. Sid. That's how it goes. Sid well, Rowley, though, speaking of yeah, people that sort of talk like this, wouldn't you want to just say your child's name is Sid Rowley? It's like, yeah. it's like hey, this is Sid Rowley from the Chronicle. Get, <laughs> right? me, the, get me the mayor. <laughs> it's such a great old school name. Mr. Mayor, Sid Rowley from the Chronicle. It's right? like a fedora. And it's, it's, it's like press. Jimmy Olsen. Exactly. I've always imagined him as an old school agent. Sid Rowley has the best clients. <laughs> You want a talent? You want talent? I'll send you loads of talent. Sid Rowley. Oh, that's Sid Rowley. He knows Hollywood, that's for sure. It's a great name. <laughs> oh, it is very cool. So how old is Sid now? He's almost 14 months. He's been walking for five months already. Shut up. Like, the kid started walking way too fast. Wow. And he's got, like, a million teeth. And he did everything early. He's all this a stuff that he makes sounds, him hard. He sounds like a dinosaur. He's everything a everything that's, that's really cool. makes a child harder to deal with. Oh, sure. He did early. Well, this humans yeah. have humans do grow up and they begin moving on their no. own, and they might even have thoughts of their own. No, 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 that's no, the freakiest. No. Let's not get out of hand. Yeah, here. yeah I was gonna say. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then the thing that it really is really terrible. You have to start paying for stuff, and they don't even thank you. That's the other thing. Oh, yeah, yeah no, that's what happens. I, I love. Oh, uh, little Sid. That's cute. He's my boy. Oh, there you go. That's great. Any, any. Are there future plans for any future kids? Uh, well, uh, he'll have kids one day. I'll be a grandpa, I'm sure. Okay. I don't know. That's, you know I if don't you want to really stop that uh, whole thing in its tracks, just do the Mikey impression. Apparently, women women, <laughs> yes, women are repelled by the Mikey Literally. impression. <laughs> it's like bug repellent. I'll show up on every date and be like, I'm his dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I did. I wasn't into him, but who's Mikey that monster Mikey. guy? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so cool. Now let's move on to the fa- let's have a round of applause for the fabulous oh. Ben Jarrell. Just a little round. Yeah. I'm applauding myself. I'm yeah, applauding as well. There's not, not that gonna, many people. It's kind of coming out of Jeremy into Ben. Oh, this so is the that's, transition. That's, okay, that's a great. transition. So Ben Jarrell, um, who who is amazing. Now you're not just an actor, Ben. 
You're true. An, uh, you do a lot of acting. Now you do a lot of uh, vo- a ton of voices, correct? Mm-hmm. And you do a lot of uh, Hallmark movies, correct? Am I correct? <laughs> well, Am I right? The pinnacle of my career is my <laughs> Hallmark and sci-fi movies. Lifetime as well. Yeah. Lots yeah, yeah. Of, uh, Give us some titles. Give, give us some titles. I mean, first Guido to die in Jersey Shore Shark Attack. Boom! Jersey Shore Shark wow. Attack. Yeah. You were a Guido and you died in that. Yeah. Maybe you've seen Christmas Twister. Anyone? <laughs> The main storm chaser. Hello. Shut yeah. up. What is your name in that? What is your name? Is your name like like is your name like da- Tad Storm or something like that? I don't remember? No, it's Gage. Gage. Shut yeah. up. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Something like that. Gage. Gage. Yeah. So hey, there's been there's been a host of really bad uh, Lifetime movies that I have definitely been a part of. Nice, nice. And so you've done all those uh, those kind of movies. And I, by the way, that's very cool. So no Sharknado for you. No Sharknado in your no, future. No, but a lot of them is with the same Sharknado people. Oh, My I buddy see. was in Sharknado two or three. Yeah. So okay, it's, got it. it's all the same. Very very cool. And those, those movies actually did well. Okay? They do. They, they do very well. Some right? of them are designed to be bad, and oh, some course. of them are, they're trying. They designed them to be good? Like Sharknado was designed not to be that good? One. Like they th- not but that some one. Some of them have been designed to be good. And okay. Some of them are designed to be bad, and some are like Jerry Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor it's just Jerry. Oh, whatever his name is. Oh, whatever his uh, name is. Whatever now. His name no, is. was your name like Gage Breakwater or something like that? Like, I don't know if they, ga- they Gage thought. Gage Thunderclap? I, mean, I don't think they gave me a last name. <laughs> But Thunderclap like, would have been awesome. You've got to be Native American now. You, now. <laughs> now, you all, now, you also were on Nickelodeon, on a couple of uh, the Nickelodeon shows. You were also on, um, what were you on recently? You played, um, uh, oh, Henry Danger. Yeah, currently on Henry that? Danger, I play the main villain on the show. What is his name? I play the toddler. The toddler. I'm, uh, I'm an evil man baby. Got it. Uh, like really, you are right now, which is exciting. I'll tell you what's funny. As for, for years, <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I just want to be on a superhero show. Get on a superhero show as the main villain. I'm like, this is... This is my Heath Ledger Joker this moment. This is me. This I'm is gonna me. I'm going to embrace the darkness, get super edgy, yeah. and I am uh, uh, I wear a diaper on national television. <laughs> so. Which proves actors will do anything. Anything if the, the check the, clears. The, yeah. the check no, no it's, honestly, Henry Danger is a blast. Love the whole cast. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Now, often actors wear their own uh, wardrobe to an audition. <laughs> did you bring your own diaper? <laughs> I did not bring my own diaper, but here's what I will say. Did you bring someone else's diaper? <laughs> makes that's all it I go wanted. real easy to go 10-1. One on set. Hey. Oh, really easy. <laughs> Explain what 10 1 is. 10 1 is when you have to go pee pee. Uh, there yeah. we go. They call yeah. it 10 1. Yeah. See, 10 1 is like it's like a 1, a 0, and a 1. That's three numbers. And, yeah. And pee pee is just P and P. That's only two. So they made it longer. They did. They did. To make clean it, it up, they made it longer. They, yeah. Weird. Yeah. Uh, I just analyzed that. You like that? Welcome back. Welcome it. back to Money Matters. We're, <laughs> Money talking, matters. About your, we're, we're talking about your we're talking about your 401k. Should I open an IRA? <laughs> Uh, I have a cousin, Ira, <laughs> who knows Sid Rowley. <laughs> my cousin, Ira, all comes back and around. my friend, Gage, who chases storms. Hey, so Sid Rowley's uh, retirement plan is a 10-1-K. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back. And we'll be back. Take it away. Hey, take it away. So wait, so keep going. So you're on the, you're the toddler. Uh, you're on all these Hallmark movies. Henry Danger. You didn't make Sharknado. You weren't good enough for that. Wasn't but fine, good enough for it doesn't that. matter. You were on the Buglies. That's how I met you. And then you're also a director and a writer. Am I correct? Yes, I am. So yes, you uh, directing a bunch of lately, I've been directing a lot of commercials. Very directed a whole cool. campaign for Discover Card. Directed a Match.com commercial. Just did. Did you really watch series? Thanks for casting me in those. Keep going. Uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Sorry. Keep going. Um, so directing's really been taking off, wow. uh, largely as a result of the music videos that I've been. Been making right now, so let, let's get into that. I was going to segue into that. So, what is the biggest one you've done? I, people out there may have seen these. What was the, what was the biggest one? You've done? Uh, we did Back to the Nineties. Back to the Nineties. My 90s. music production partner Jensen Reed and I. Right. Uh, and, the, and and how many views did it get? We're at ninety million right now. Unbelievable! It's, it's almost I mean, speech that's bubble fine. numbers. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's. Fine. I mean, it's not a billion. <laughs> I will say it's 90 million. <laughs> so we put out back to the 90s while we were doing Bunsen and every week I, I would come in and Butch would say, you know, how many views are you at? Mm-hmm. And then he, the next question was, and how many dollars do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I put it on Facebook, so I make no dollars. Zero dollars. Oh, my gosh. But here's what we're excited about is just expanding the fan base, reaching as many eyeballs as possible because we know the money's coming. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, so by the time it's it's the 2090s, right. you can make that one will be a hundred years old. So, right. so, so you, go ahead. Go He's ahead. like a, you're like a guy that invested your money in a box next to a bank. Yes. So there's no yeah. interest, but you have so much money that's been in that box so long. Yeah. 
and it's like you keep going to check on it and it hasn't grown <laughs> and you're like ah, but it's so close to a bank <laughs> it's, it's almost it's, there it's right by the bank it's almost there. and it's been there for so long i feel like there should be some interest at some this point is the weirdest comparison <laughs> yet so right on that i've ever heard in my life i know oh my god oh my god i have to that is the greatest <laughs> weirdest comparison it's just a car i sound like willy wonka <laughs> you stole fizzy lifting drinks you bumped into the ceiling which means you get nothing <laughs> nothing 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 yeah, so good day sir we haven't, we haven't made a lot of money off of reaching right. a, a large so portion of the what globe. we're trying to teach children is put things on youtube where you can make money that's right they put down did you put it on youtube at the same time like same day we did uh, you know Honestly, I'm actually full tilt on Facebook video right now. It's uh, having just directed a Facebook watch show. Like, they're definitely expanding the that platform awesome, and they're adding a monetization platform without getting too nerdy about it. But yeah, we're, we're working on our next music video right now. We think that ultimately we're pitching Facebook on hopefully doing a whole series of nostalgia related music videos. And so, so we'll cool. see where it goes. Now, now, did your, now, you did a Justice League video. We did. Do you think that contributed to the failure of Justice League or did it, hel or did it help the Justice League? I mean, to be League? honest, we kind of knew it was going to be a bad movie while, <laughs> while we made the promotional video for it. Maybe Jason. the plot of Justice League contributed to the, the, the problems with J Justice Jason League. Jason and I talked I about know. this a while back. It's like, if I told you 20 years ago they're going to make a Black Panther movie and a Justice League movie. And Black Panther's going to be the awesome the, movie. The Black Panther's yeah, going to be no, one of the top grossing movies of all time. Yeah. And Justice League's going to be horrible. You wouldn't have believed me. Oh. I... I, my you're, parents, you're digging your hole next to the bank to I put know. your money in. My parents own a comic book store. So I I'm know, a huge that's the superhero cool, fan. Oh, like, same here. That's why we got along so I well. I got so excited when they were they were they were redoing these, you know, the the, the new Superman movies and the you yep. know, uh, and they all failed and one all after the awful. other. <laughs> and then Justice League. It's almost like they intentionally made it. It's oh, really I bad. So it's we got hired. Uh, by a movie company. I won't say the company since I've trashed the movie now, but we got hired. <laughs> Don't say the company. We got hired to uh, do this uh, Justice League music video. The music video turned out, I think, it's much great. better it's than the movie. Funny. Seeing you in a Flash costume <laughs> yeah. was, was the highlight for me. A lot you've of spandex. A, you've been in a diaper, you've been in a Flash costume. <laughs> a lot of spandex. But that was actually a cool moment for us because it was our first kind of branded piece of content we were making with someone else's money. Very cool. Uh, and, and we ho ultimately hope that that that's where all this music video stuff goes, where we can, you know, start to work with bigger and bigger brands and make cool, celebratory, funny, nostalgic music. Well, yeah, videos. You're, you're great, and I want to. Uh, I kind of want to get into, uh, unless you guys have more funny things to say, because we're talking a teeny bit serious <laughs> I've, now. I've used my quota. Yeah, I've used your quota. Yeah. Down, uh, because everyone out there that listens to this podcast or even any podcast about entertainment is always like, "How do I get to do what you do? How can I make this happen? Does it just happen? Does it just drop out of the sky?" And I've told people. It takes tons of hard work, and I think you guys can both attest to that. Like, for example, you guys want to jump on, like, how do you start directing something? How do you get? How do you get to direct the commercial? Like, how, yeah. does, that, how does that happen? Well, look, and you know, it's funny. We did a lot of press when Back to the '90s went mega viral, and we and that was something you did on your own. You wrote it, you directed it, you got the crew, you got everybody involved. People, are, everyone's always like, "Well, I really want to make my own this. I want to make my own that." And people just don't take the time to invest any money or time. They get lazy. I think it's a perfect example because I, when I first started making stuff right after college, I knew I wanted to not just be an actor. Actor that was sitting in casting lobbies and waiting for someone to give me an opportunity. I right. wanted to get out and make my own stuff and, and figure out how to direct and produce. Yeah. But it used to be me and two guys with a couple of lights and a little 5D camera. Just like, just like the podcast <laughs> Just like the cop. Just, like, just, just, just like the podcast. One exactly. day you'll succeed, I used to but be, I'm excited. <laughs> how I used many views do I get? I used to be janky like you, Butch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was... <laughs> then I got Sid Riley on my side. Sid Riley came through. Sid Riley came. He brought me the best talent. He made me a star. <laughs> I went See? back to the 1940s in my time machine and fuck Sid Rowley out of the middle of New York. Sid Rowley. And he's smoking a cigar. Um, <laughs> Always. No, but it was it, right after college. We didn't know what we were doing. We were running around. We were just, we were figuring. Looking for hot tubs to jump into. Exactly. Found a lot Illegal of hot tubs. Hot tubs. <laughs> but then every shoot I would do, I would add on people. I would figure out. So yeah. Every shoot was a learning experience because yep. you can't go from that to suddenly having a set, you know, next in two weeks, my music video is gonna have 150 people on set. Like you can't, you can't lift a thousand pounds till you start with five pounds. Exactly. You, you know, start exactly. So incrementally over the Even years, though I could, I could lift a thousand pounds. Well, yeah. No problem. Yeah. I mean, right over my head. I could just like a clean <laughs> jerk right over my. You head. are pretty jacked. I'm just making sure everybody knows this. I'm so just so your knees <laughs> will pop off. Yeah. Yeah. Ben's got some guns. Ben. Oh has no no guns. he does those Iron Man. Uh, yeah, Ben runs. does. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I, I'm not. I will not mess with Ben. You. No. Oh, I would no. totally mess with you. you I won't sure mess. I, 
with me. I'm broken. Uh, I'm a guy that people should mess with. <laughs> can I can I ask a question? You directed a Discover Card commercial? I, uh, campaign, yeah. A campaign. So s- you probably can't answer this because you're now in bed with them, but like similar to... <laughs> They're my wife, yeah. Similar to like taking a Discover Card to a restaurant, when you do that commercial, <laughs> are... Are like eighty percent of the channels like, oh, we don't take that commercial here. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's killer! Oh, here's Burn. Where I live. Burn. Let me just. Okay, I wanna, I get, this is a Burn. great learning experience. No matter how long the setup for the joke, the punchline has to be awesome. Yeah, was, yeah. you and gotta hang in there. It's there. Hang and you know he there. was sitting on that one for a, a hot second. I'm not gonna focus. cut you off. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna allow you to focus. finish. I'm gonna allow you to finish. <laughs> we don't, and I'm gonna say what I have to say. We don't. We don't take that commercial at this network. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm if so it was, sorry. It, uh, we would take we would take a Visa commercial. <laughs> we would take a Mastercard commercial. Mastercard commercial. We used to take Discover commercials, but then <laughs> we've imparted so much wonderful knowledge. I'm just telling you, but no, I, but I, I, I just want to tell people it's like you have to get out there and make your own way. Correct? You have to get out there and do something. Yeah, I think it's it's all a testament to being incredibly proactive. Mm-hmm. And nothing is a one hit wonder. I was going to mention a lot of the press we did. We're like, wow, where did you guys come from? We're like, look, we've been grinding yes. for 15 years in Hollywood, yeah. trying to yeah. get eyes on. Our stuff, Jensen with his music, me with my comedy, and what was so cool is and those failed miserably. Miserable. So we had to get miserable together. Failures. Yeah, so miserable. we had to finally link up. <laughs> Changed our names so many times. But you know what? Felt, what was great? Had that happened right after yeah. college, like yeah. we wouldn't have had a portfolio of work to refer people to and say, "Hey, we know what we're doing." Exactly. And we can open ourselves up to to more of those opportunities. Yeah, I just I, I, being on YouTube now and stuff and doing that. It's like you realize, like all the big guys on YouTube have been on there for a long time and they've been doing it forever. And it's like. You, it really it's a big learning process for yes. anything it's like even like with the groundlings being there for a long time it's like people there's really no one hit wonder and it just takes people are always afraid to start but if you don't start you'll never get a chance to even finish i mean look at even how we all know each other is a testament to just years of i mean i don't i think i auditioned for nickelodeon for 10 years before i booked a, a voiceover thing like yeah. a little short yeah. right prior for, to for doing the, bug, the, the bugly thing yeah but which i just which I did we sh- are going to make someday that's right but, you know, I think you just have to keep grinding with what you're passionate about. Yeah. Um, you do have to make your own stuff. Like, I made uh, some YouTube videos that got a few million hysterical. views. Not 90. What is the one? What is Kobe the, Bryant one is the, the Kobe best Bryant one, one is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Oh, in my life. Truly. I wish, I wish we could show it here on the podcast, but it's so funny. I got you an orchid. <laughs> Kobe Bryant's biggest fan. Uh, what, what, what is the concept? It's, like, a, it's uh, it was back when he was winning championships and uh, went out to outside the Staples Center <laughs> before a playoff game and and it was like a made it look like it was a real newscast and they were just reporting on the playoffs and then this guy crashes the newscast and you're the guy you're like you're like, you're like the super fan yeah Kobe's super fan but then he, he, when he starts getting into his love for Kobe it's, it gets really <laughs> it gets a little homoerotic it gets real weird. you're like hey Kobe man weird. I love you I think, and it's like that's great normally but end there you're yeah, like, like you, you just oh, keep hit going hit me up man hit me up let's uh you know go down to Santa Barbara like hit up some charming shops let's buy, buy some antiques you know <laughs> <laughs> I um, actually saw did I tell you I, I remember seeing that video and thinking that guy's hysterical <laughs> years before we met well thank you i will say this uh so i've done a few videos like that that i've been on a set and the writers or somebody involved says you know why we hired you because we're a big fan of one of your videos one of the videos yeah when we were thinking of who to cast it was like oh let's get that guy from that video yep. so you never know when you just get your stuff out there you never know who's gonna I saw you like, yo, Kobe, man, let's get together. Like, 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 like just uh, maybe more than friends. Just so we can, like, you know, hold each other. You know, what, what was it? What were you saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, you know, I got you an orchid when you bring. He brings out an orchid. It's so good. Let's buy some antiques. But it's true. Oh, it's like plant. everything. Flowers is a, die. Orchids <laughs> don't. Right. Everything is a result of of making your own stuff. I truly believe that. Uh, I think yeah. that. Being proactive and making your own content and building your own brand mm-hmm. of stuff. Butch, you should start making your own things as well. You think I should try that? You should try to I make should give some it a stuff. try? Yeah. Create things. I wonder what I should do. What should I do? Like Paint a, like a room a, blue. Like a side of speech <laughs> bubble. Yeah, and have the sign fall down every five minutes. Yeah, like we got the best duct tape <laughs> in the world. I got it from, I got it from <laughs> Sid Rowley. <laughs> Sid Rowley is so many duct tape. Everyone here. just flinched when you touched that, by the way. Don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch yeah, no, yeah, the sign. I know. It's Can like, I it's give like away the Prime a... Minister of England. You see that? She's giving a speech and it was like she's up for some initiative. It says like uh, it says like um like in- inherent or something and she's talking very serious and the eye falls off, falls I off did the see wall. That. It so falls good. off the wall. Yeah, it was very it was very sad. <laughs> hey, so anyway, you are on a bunch of commercials now. Yes. Right? 
I have been these are not Discover enough. Card commercials. <laughs> no, we actually take these commercials at, at restaurants, <laughs> right? Like, what never, are the commercials that you're I'll on? I'll never be allowed on a Discover Card commercial <laughs> now. Uh, I've been lucky enough to do a series of the Progressive commercials. Yes. I'm one of the employees there, and I'm shooting another one Thursday. Very cool. So that's fun. That's you almost really had to blow off the podcast. We thought you were going to shoot today. I they We would have had you on some other They time. had me on hold all week, and so I had to tell Butch, I don't know if I can come. And then last minute, they said, it's going to be Thursday. So I found out I could come today. Nice, but I'm happy. so glad you're here. Now, yeah. Now, for those who don't know what the progressive commercials are, maybe they're from out of state or something, what are the progressive commercials? They're those, uh, I think, if you live in America, you've probably seen them. It's uh, Flo from Progressive. Just the white jumpsuit She sells on. insurance. Yeah. Right, right. And so I'm one of the employees that works with her. Uh, and they're super funny. That girl's yeah. name, her name is Stephanie, right? She's a groundling, Stephanie Courtney. Very uh, funny. And the second guy, Jamie. The redheaded guy. Uh, yeah, he's also a groundling. Yeah, Jim yeah. Cashman. He's really funny, too. Very funny. They figured out that the Groundlings is a funny place and they started plucking people out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so see? Who smart. needs Saturday Night Live is it's what I smart. say. Who needs it? Whoever Nobody. did a commercial that was on Saturday That's Night Live, right. I've Who needs never that? seen that. Who's ever become successful in movies and made millions from Saturday Nobody. Night Live? Nobody. Right? Who needs Nada. them? Nobody. Who needs those people? I don't need those people. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, so we're going to see you in the commercials. Very cool. Yes, yeah, so that, doing that... Uh, what else is going on? Oh, there's a there's a TV show right now on TV Land called Nobodies that's uh, produced by Melissa McCarthy and she makes uh, guest appearances in that's it. That's kind of a funny show. It's I think it's very. It's funny. a very funny show. And I was in a little bit of the first season, and uh, in this second season, I'm in a bunch of it. And, nice. Uh, so that's fun. Yeah. I'm is it airing yet? I'm a recurring character. It, it is airing, and I think it's on Thursday nights. This isn't your pretend show that you make in your apartment. No, this, this is an actual a TV real, show, right? An actual real TV oh, show. Okay, good. There was a pretend when you were making yeah. it for a long and, time. Uh, Sit rally. <laughs> in a bunch of episodes that are about to air, I'll, I'll be in it. I play a, a, an ineffective agent's assistant. No way. That they get stuck with. They're at a big, they're nobody's <laughs> trying to make it in Hollywood. It's an awesome show. And, and they're kind of like, are they employed on some horrible show or something like they that? They created a show called The Fertilmans. <laughs> That is makes them a little bit of money, but they're so embarrassed because it's a cartoon about farts, and so they hate That's it. And they but they work in Hollywood. Yeah, they're like technically. So then they tr <laughs> they're friends with Melissa McCarthy. She plays herself in this, and they really are friends in real life. It's based on a true story, and they're trying to make it in Hollywood. They're nobodies, and uh, so they end up getting in with a big agent at ICM. But then he hates them, and he pawns them <laughs> off on his weird terrible assistant and that's, that's me you. so now he's like guess what he's your agent now and they're like oh no <laughs> did you so, do nothing you do nothing for them i'm well i try but i'm a <laughs> very weird man like yeah. i can't see you playing that it's yeah. so no, strange it's a, 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 a character out of character sure. it's a stretch it's really fun that's yeah. cool man so look over uh, watch jeremy on progressive and and, and a tv show ben, what do you got going TV on land. uh doing a lot of tv land tv land right TV a lot of voiceover i'm doing a bunch of voiceover i uh I'm in a bunch of episodes of the new Rocky and Bullwinkle that's coming out yeah. on Amazon. Uh, we're being produced by my arch enemy, Scott Fellows. That's right. My arch enemy, yes. Is he, is he your arch enemy? No, he's not my arch enemy. I'm, I'm always pretending. See, I created him. I know. And then, then, he, then, he, then he tried to kill me. Then he went off on his own. So I've got, I have to stop him for the good of Classic mankind. Scott's awesome. He's, yes, he's Scott's great. a super funny guy. He's got a crazy laugh. Uh, he does. He ripped uh, off all my people. He uses, he uses Darren Norris. and, and Darren's. All yeah. <laughs> in, I've seen Darren many times. Darren is show. the narrator. No, I love Scott. I'm just Scott did Big Time Rush. That's right. He was, he was, a, he was my story editor on Fairly. Out there That's right. Many years, great uh, guy. And we've Love had Scott. many awesome conversations about you at those sessions. Really? So doing that? Really? Yeah. Does he get my name right? Well, he did say he did, bad said, word. said the he bad, word. bad word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, well, anyone who would do that is a terrible. I can't word. believe <laughs> that would happen. Yeah. yeah that would <laughs> uh, let's see. So I'm doing that. I'm doing. Uh, I did a ton of episodes of the new Kid Danger, which is an animated spinoff of Henry, Henry Danger, Danger, right? Uh, which is pretty cool because they've animated my live action character as the to the toddler. So it's like That's it's awesome. me, and they've done a pretty cool job. Is he in a diaper? He is in a diaper. Very nice. What is annoying, I will say, is like, I'm already the smallest guy on the show. <laughs> they have reduced the uh, size oh, of my character nice. down to like... Very tiny. Very nice. Uh, but it's very funny. That's it's cool. And it's, it's been cool. And I just um, have a question. Are you in a diaper now? I just want to know. I am. That's, are you in a diaper uh, now? I've had two bowel movements. That, congratulations. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so, yeah. So, voiceover is good. We are filming our next music video next week. It's called In the Arcade. 
It's an 80s and 90s retro arcade thing, and you'll like this as an animator. Yes. We are animating ourselves into every video game ever. That's awesome. Dude, that's epic. That's awesome. uh, in fact, after the podcast, I'll show you the that's animation's totally done. That's totally epic. Uh, so we're in Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Tetris. It's going to be really oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you know what? It's too bad it didn't come out at, uh, for Ready Player One. Like, uh, it coincided with that. Yeah. We're, but I don't think you really miss so much with Ready Player One. I think yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah but uh, that's pretty cool, So man. we're pumped about it. And we're, the live action stuff we're filming inside an arcade. Is that one going? on YouTube? Is it going in the bank or next to the bank? It's going to go next to the bank. It's going next to the bank. bank. This one's going under the bank. (laughs) We're actually going to try and uh, partner up with a brand after we shoot it. So it might not be out for a while, but we're really excited about it. Uh, It's been a long time coming. Uh, We're going to partner up with Lawn Darts. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's a... Everyone loves Lawn Darts. (laughs) For anybody who knows who Lyle Lovett is, you know what Lawn Darts are. Actually, they called them Jarts. 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 Lyle Lovett is our featured artist on the Lyle Lovett, yes. (laughs) The reason is, she's Julia Roberts, and he's Lyle Lovett. Lyle Lovett is just... Passionate about video games, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, so we is. just had to put him in the video. Of course. Yeah. Remember that? Remember dar- lawn darts? They were giant plastic darts with a huge metal point, uh-huh. and you would throw them like horseshoes, and then they'd land in a circle. But yeah. then they realized they're giant kid- knives. Kids were throwing, <laughs> and they were <laughs> impaling children. Yeah, it's like, like, who wouldn't love those? Yeah. But see, that's why Ben chose them to partner with because they were a brand that literally <laughs> became illegal. Right. Not even uh, went away, but not legal to I'm exist. I'm just trying to make. Sound business decisions <laughs> because our business podcast is, is money matters. That's right. Yeah, we're here Googled. to talk about we're talking about four hundred one k's now and uh, IRAs. If you look at his search history, it's illegal brands <laughs> yeah. in the United States <laughs> to partner right. with. God. And oh cool! Tools. Oh cool! The Pinto sports wagon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Pinto on board. Cars that have blown up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else to talk about? I, I, we have to end this eventually. Okay. We, we don't ever. Ha- I don't ever want to, but we have to end it eventually. Can we end it with like an explosion or something? How long have we been going? By cool? the way? I think like uh, forty-five. Yeah, forty-five. Well, that's good. Um, can I tell everyone a secret about your studio that they don't know unless the, someone else yeah. has brought this up? You absolutely, the, absolutely the, can. The brick. Yeah. Behind us. Yeah. It's, it's real brick. It's it's real. Oh, does it look fake? No, no, no. <laughs> it looks it looks real. It's squishy. It's squishy it's brick. Sound, squishy brick. It's sound. That was actually proofing, friendly. Butch's nickname in college. Brick. Squishy brick. Squishy brick. Oh. Right. Exactly. And I was gay. I was Gage the Storm Chaser on a oh, Hallmark movie. <laughs> That's actually a very satisfying squish. And then you like right? that? Really? Yeah. Are you talking about the, the diaper or are you talking about the oh, wall? Talking about are you talking, diaper, are you talking about my nickname from college. <laughs> satisfying squish. He was going squish. like this. That's a satisfying squish. You gotta uh, watch this to get what we're doing. It's really right become now. a disgusting podcast. It has. How it's completely happened. gone off the rails Why from the first moment. It even happen. I got. We, we should just have them host the podcast all the time. These guys, I'm telling you. Well, I've, I've no. had a great time having you guys here. Thank you. I've had an okay time. Do you think you've had a good time? Has been all right? <laughs> because you're Ben, I'll get most of it. Drew. Oh, we didn't tell that story. Let's get to the story. So, in the middle of season one of Bunsen is a Beast, the only season. The, well, I was gonna. In the middle of the only season <laughs> in the of Bunsen is a Beast. The only season. Yeah, yeah. Of no, our so show. everyone knows it only has one season. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> in the middle of our only season. Yeah. I had just done a play. By the way, you guys are the stars of my least successful show ever. So thank you very much. I know. In the middle of the the prequel to season two <laughs> of Bunsen is a Beast. <laughs> ben, one season, Jeru. Ben, one season, Jeru. I had been doing a play where we were doing 11 shows a week in the midst of also doing the Mikey voice. Which, and by the way, that, is, that number of days doesn't exist. Something very shady was going <laughs> yeah. on there. They added days to the calendar. <laughs> 11, 11 uh, shows Oh, my a God. Week. Uh, <laughs> we did so many shows this Blarg day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, what a tough uh, Blarg we day we just had. 11 days a week. <laughs> Are there 11 days? Yeah, it was a, you see, they were measuring it in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I get it. So, no, so the I... Under the Roman calendar. Going on, yes. yes the I Babylonian lost. calendar. The Mayans here. were involved in our scheduling. The Mayan calendar. It was very strange. Go ahead. So, anyway. I lost my voice. Uh, and so I... I had to, luckily it came during a break in our schedule. Yep. When we came back, I was like kind of getting my voice back, but the Mikey voice is very challenging. Yes, yes. And if you're oh losing your voice only even partially, that's the first of it to go. It's Not gonna very happen. Chal- I can't, I'm very challenging. I can't even get so, there. Even and get we there. would have, you know, there was a lot of lines. So Yeah, you were like the star of the show. <laughs> right? yeah. We yeah. need you to speak. Who would have thunk? And so I got through 
most of the episode. <laughs> and then I said, I said, you know, and you we were very kind actually in in helping me get through it because it was and challenging. Not hiring him. And, and not <laughs> hiring me. And uh, <laughs> and I said, well, I'll, I'll get most of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Jeremy goes, Ben, I'll get most of it, Jeremy. So that became my nickname <laughs> at every session when I could get all of it. <laughs> And, and I got all of it. And every time I would screw up a line thereafter, it was Ben, I'll get I most of it true. true. Well, it stuck. Yeah. Can you guys, I mean, I, I, those, those of you out there who obviously weren't part of the Bunsen cast and recording, obviously a lot of people weren't, but you guys were, but it was just such a fun time. I mean, we so had fun. our amazing writing staff led by the amazing Ray De Laurentiis. We had you guys in oh, there. Man. We had Sherry O'Terry. We had the Kari Walgren. So Kari Walgren as the amazing Amanda Jeff Kilman. Bennett, Jerry Jeff Trainer. Bennett, Jerry Trainer. I mean, we just had a Phil freak. Had a, and Phil Lamar. We had a blast. A, just a blast. And it was a joy. And uh, I want to thank you guys for being on the show. It was killer. Oh, we have many you. more stories to tell, though. We do. Well, he, you know, his new nickname, that used to be his nickname. Now that Munson's over, his new nickname is Ben Illegal Jacuzzi Giroux. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And he always <laughs> carries a screwdriver around to get those bubbles going <laughs> in case and, he can't and, get into where and, they and turn the on the bubbles. And the bolt cutters. And yeah. The bolt cutters. cutters and one side, clink. screwdriver and this side. Let's get go those sneak bubbles into a, going. Into a jacuzzi right now. <laughs> 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 There's this great apartment in Toluca Lake. We gotta get over there. <laughs> we passed it on the way. If, if you turn the jets on after ten o'clock, they get really mad. We gotta get over there by nine forty-five, quick. <laughs> well, guys, it's been a blast having you on the speech bubble. It has. I'm very. It's yeah. great to see you again. It's by the way, see you. it's great to see you. It's been too long. We gotta get you guys back and, and do something thank fun. You. Anytime. It'd be really fun. Rock so like, when we when we say goodbye as Mikey, say bye and thank you. Maybe. Goodbye, so, everyone. Thank you so much for one season. <laughs> <laughs> and Bunsen, you want to add to that? I want goodbye. Okay, roll the theme music. Thanks very much. <laughs>